She'll take some of this pie now. <laughs> he thinks that I cannot hide from him. Little does he know, huh? Going to find me? Good luck. The Khajiit is very sneaky. Ah. Go home, Mr. Elf. Yes. There we are. Oh, I've scared him once more. Not good, not good. He has some sort of demonic power, I think. Dodging all of the arrows that fly his way. Fascinating. Look at him running about. Like some sort of insect, huh? There. I seem to have barely scratched him. I am nowhere to be found. Simply a horse here. Hmm. Over this way? Nobody's here. Please pay no attention to the man behind the curtain. <laughs> I see you. Surely such a powerful mage would have uh, a good amount of magical implements. I should like to take advantage of this. Although I hate to kill uh, what could be an innocent. Hmm. Seems to be hiding quite well behind that rock. Maybe a little higher? Maybe a little lower? No, he's well hidden indeed. Perhaps some sort of magical barrier he's put up to prevent my arrows from finding him. Hearing things, yes. Of course. I'm sorry this had to happen, Mr. Elf. Elf on the shelf. Okay, Richard, the danger has passed. Daddy takes care of everything for you, does he not? Oh my. Perhaps the danger has not passed. Ah. Quite a dangerous land, this one. Hmm? Now where has the elf gone? His body has dissipated? Impossible. I've never heard of such a thing. Mr. Elf! There you are. Hello to you. Ah, so pleased to make your acquaintance. Poor Mr. Dreylas. Well, let us have a look in his cabin, Richard. We'll see what we could find in there. And uh, hopefully avoid this dragon as well. I hear him screeching just over the mountains. Ah, but now we are free. Free to have a little rest. Ah, yes. I need to uh, rest my mind for just a moment, hmm? Ah. How relaxing. Wonderful. Hmm. I should like to improve my alchemy. This would be pleasing to me, hmm? Yes. Wondrous well. That will do for now. The firmament. Hmm. Well. Quite well read he was, but uh, unfortunately not so hospitable. Hmm? Thistle branch. Yes. We could use these things. Ah, and he has an alchemy lab as well. Perhaps this is where he was working. Uh huh. Little bit more? My goodness. He was well stocked, was he not? Well, 
some feathers wonderful just a bit of cabbage there mm, spider eggs interesting there are some mushrooms this looks like one of those uh giant cat's tooth my goodness well i am glad we've taken control of this cabin hmm I should try some of these uh, regions, see what they do. Hmm, ash hopper jelly. Ugh, more bitter than sweet. How about this bee? Ah, recover some stamina. Interesting. Beehive husk helps to resist poison. Blue butterfly wing damages stamina. Dartwing resists shock. Interesting. How about this chicken's egg? I've eaten it many times before, but let me focus my mind on what alchemical use it will have. Hmm. I think a resistance to magic? Dragon's tongue, we have much of this. Resist fire, as I suspected. Dwarven oil? Mmm, Brandar does not know if she should taste this. Just a little bit. Oh, interesting. A weakness to magic. How about this moss? Damages health. Ah, eyeball of cat, not excited for this. But it does restore some stamina. Fire salt. Weak to frost, that makes good sense. Fly Amanita Mushroom resists fire. Interesting. How about the garlic? Resist poison. Hmm. Hawk Beak. Oh, this is sure to be crunchy. Restore stamina. Interesting. Uh, the human heart I shall save. I'm not eager for this just yet. Ice Ray Teeth. Weakness to frost as I thought. Imp stools, hmm, grapes, delicious treats, makes you weak to magic though, interesting, how about this mud crab cheating, restore stamina, interesting, so many of these things, I'm unsure what to do, this is the Nern route, somebody was looking for this in Cyrodiil, uh, but that is a long way back I suppose, let us try eating some. Damages health. Hmm. Dragonfly restores stamina. How about this egg? Different from chicken eggs? Restore health. It is a bit different. Saber cat tooth restores stamina. Hmm. How about this weird mushroom I found? Weakness to magic, huh? Interesting. Ravage health from Scathecraw. But these antlers. Once again, pretty crunchy, huh? Weak to poison. The pearl restores stamina. Hmm. This ash is sure not to taste good, but we must try. Ravages stamina. Hmm. Not my favorite. Torchbug Thorax, restore stamina. Troll fat, mmm, resist poison. Thunder Cottons, resist magic. Oh, some invisibility in the vampire dust. If only I had something else with invisibility, hmm? Maybe these wisp wrappings. Mmm, that restores stamina as well. White cap, weak to frost. Void salt, mmm, interesting. Weakness to shock, that makes sense. And finally, the heart of a human. Ah. Well, I suppose we must try. Mmm. Damage health, yes. It's not good. <coughs> well, we've made quite a few discoveries, to say the least. Might as well try to brew some of these things together, hmm? Restore health, yes. I do need this. Unfortunately, I don't have so much wheat. Ah, a shame. Resist magic, this should come in handy. 
Yes. Hmm. We'll do this one first. Uh, thunder cotton and lavender. And I also have some chicken's eggs. Wonderful. Mm, resist fire. I do have a couple of these already. How about this uh, damage health? It should come in handy, no? Use my human heart. It also damages magical regeneration. Fascinating. Always learning so much with the alchemies. <laughs> ah, damaging stamina. We've got the bone meal, the butterfly wings. Hmm. For some reason, this also fortifies conjuration. Well, I suppose I don't mind that too much, as long as we aren't uh, using it on a necromancer or some such. A little bit more. Damage the magicka. Excellent. And it looks like we're uh, about out of options here. Dragon's tongue and snowberries. Mmm, yes. Make lots of these. This is going to be good for fighting dragons. Those exploding dragons spitting the fire. So mean. How about the shock resist? I think Draylus himself was using some shocking spells. Interesting. Weakness to magic, yes, this will come in handy for sure. Also regener regenerate some magicka. Fascinating. So I will help out a wizard while also killing him. <laughs> ah, what a quandary, hmm? Weakness to frost, I do not use frost. Weakness to fire, I will take. Restore magicka, yes. I do this as well. Excellent. We are looking pretty good here, huh? I suppose that is all for now. Quite a batch of potions I've made. Hmm. I should like to sell some of them. Need to keep my eye out for wheat. That is uh, one thing used to make the restore health. Hmm, and I need much more restore health, as always. Ah, ale and the book. Oh, the jug's fallen off the shelf. A shame that. Frontier Conquest. University of Guilin Press. Ah, it is so sad. Cake and the diamond? Hmm. I'm fascinated. Yes. I take. We should sit down and have a bit of reading at some point soon, hmm? Wow, look at this magicka potion. I suppose it is fitting for such a mage. He was uh, quite a powerful mage. I'm sad that I had to end him, you know? Ah, if only he could have been friendly. Hello, Brandar. Nice to see you. Oh, nice to meet you. Let us hang out for a little while. Cake and the diamond again? Hmm, must be a pretty good book. He has two copies. One to share with a friend. His friend Brandar. I could have been your friend, Raylas. Why did you let it happen this way, hmm? Ah! Warm apple pie. Freshly prepared. Just for your friend Brandar, hmm? So kind. Look at these creatures he's slain. Saber cats, wolves. Even Brandar is fearful of the saber cats. Hmm. A brave man though he was. It was not enough to overcome the stealthy power of the Khajiit. Hmm? Hello, Richard. I am back once more. Let us do a bit more exploring, huh? I would like to talk uh, a bit more about arrows, since I have become so deft with them. I have noticed uh, 
the source of the bone does matter quite a bit, you know? Oh my goodness. We've been spotted, Richard. Run, run, run. This is not good. Perhaps we can get to the top of this mountain. We might stand a bit more of a chance in an open area, hmm? Be very careful. Alright. Here we are. Good boy, good boy. Up, up, up. Now where is this creature? Dares to challenge Brandar. Ah. It seems the uh, combustion dragon was not killed by the mammoths, huh? I suppose uh, a bit of potion would help me here, huh? How about uh, some poison, firstly? And for me, I think... Uh, hmm, where is my fire resist? Yes, here it is. I shall use the good one. Ah! What a powerful... Oh! There's no one here to help me. My goodness. How shall we overcome this one, huh? Arrows, arrows. Ah! <laughs> I'm not sure I have the health potions to weather this one. Ah! Unsure if I'm even shooting at the right spot. Ah! My goodness. I shall take some of this pie now. Yes. Eat these goods. Might help me just a little bit. Ah, ah, there we are. And off he flies. Protecting the whispering wall, I suppose. Hmm, was that a miss? Suppose I should recharge my my bow as well. Such a powerful spell he has. Ah, uh, there is a chest here as well. But first we must defeat this fellow. Ah. Ah. So much power he has. Mm. Well, Brandar's pretty powerful himself. I'll let you know this, huh? Little more fire resist. Hmm. I wonder if any of this should help me. Couldn't hurt, that is for sure. Save my health potions for a bit later, hmm? Ah, my sweet roll. My sweet, sweet roll. I promised this to Richard. I will not drink. There you are. Hello, fellow. Ah. Oh. You hidden down this way? There's no hiding from Brandar, my friend. My eye, far too keen, huh? My goodness. He seems to be quite upset at something down there. I will take this opportunity for uh, a couple of pot shots, huh? <laughs> Oh, perhaps he's found some bandits or some such. Yes. Focus there. How's that? Don't think that I'm hitting him properly. Come back up this way. Let us do battle, huh? You flee from Randar now? Start the fight. Don't even have the, uh... The tenacity to finish it, huh? Cowardly dragon he is. Hello there. Welcome back. Hmm. Has he crashed into the ground? 
Yes, indeed he did. What an opportunity. Ah, uh, my fire resist potion. You are no match. Oh ho ho ho! Tries it again, huh? That's okay. We can weather it. Hmm. Maybe a bit of health. Uh, I don't want to take the risk, you know. Hmm. Healing potions, yes? How's this? One more for you. Look at me, huh? Down you go. What a foe he was. Oh. My goodness. It was almost over for us, friends. I do hope Richard did not get caught up in that fiery explosion. Ah. But it was a good idea to make so many fire resist potions, huh? Excellent. What have you brought for me, dragon friend? Oh, these dwarven shields, huh? These look like arrows from the dwarves. Fascinating. Hmm. I can't identify what this is. A bit too small for a shield. Fascinating. I'm unsure what to think of all these things. Well, some potions, some ingots, dwarven oil, we found out what this did. I suppose this combustion dragon came from a Dwemer settlement of some kind, huh? My, he does have many Dwemer items on him. Ah, mass paralysis scroll, yes I take. Hmm, if I should find somebody in the market for this sort of thing, uh, we should make a good amount of money. Hmm, battle axe, not necessarily something I need, but uh, I don't want this dragon to have it, that is for sure. Ah, wonderfully done. Had me worried for just a moment there. I think seem to have come out okay, hmm? Get rid of this battle axe. A remembrance of our battle, Mr. Combustion Dragon. My goodness. If he was not distracted, I can only imagine what might become of Randar. And Richard, scared off once more by the dragons. My poor boy. What does this whispering wall have to say, hmm? Tell me some words! Ah... Fascinating. Always an interesting place. Where there is a whispering wall, there is surely much to be gained. Oh, look at this helmet. Quite nice. I don't have so much room for ore. Yes, I should need to drop some of these things off. Not good, not good. Lesser ward. The gates up to 40 points of spell damage or effect. Very nice. Stall rim. It is light, it is worth quite a bit. I shall take. Ah. And most of this is simply too heavy for Brandar. That is quite a shame. Once again, I must remember this place. Hmm. This cow has fallen. Where is my horse cow? You know, the horse that looks like a cow? Richard! Where have you gone to, my friend? The sun is coming up. Hmm. Why does he always do this to me, huh? I don't understand. I thought we were good friends, Richard. Hmm. Perhaps he has run down the mountain somewhere, huh? Richard! There you are. Hello, silly boy. 
Oh. What a mind of your own you have, huh? Okay, let us find a, a careful way down this mountain. There's a troll. Let us try to avoid the troll, huh? Okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Let's be careful. Come, Richard. Oh my. Okay, there we are. Oh. Hopefully this troll will lose our scent. My goodness, somebody's made the camp here, huh? Well... We probably should not set up camp uh, with the troll up that way. I've been Did you know about the troll? For years. So you aren't scared of the frost trolls, huh? It's not like my poaching is hurting anyone. The Jarl can hardly eat every deer now, can he? Well... I suppose uh, getting rid of those trolls is a helpful thing, hmm? Yes, you don't have enough gold to buy the things that I want to sell. All right then. Indeed. Enjoy your humble life in the woods. Perhaps it is a, a better way to go, huh? Anyhow, as I was saying before I was so rudely interrupted by a dragon, the uh, source of bones or metals for most of these arrows seems to uh, have quite an effect on what the arrow is capable of doing. The bones of every beast have a story to tell, you know? They have memories of stalking through the vines, of flying through the canopy, of hunting and eating and killing. And when we shape the bones into arrows, we prepare a death story. The bones that we choose have a great meaning. Some laugh at this or roll their eyes, calling any arrow just an arrow. But the Bosmer know that the bones tell the best tales. And of course, living so close to Valenwood, I've met quite a few Bosmer, and they've shared their stories with me. Birds from bones from birds of prey rarely miss. And those from lizards and snakes are quick and sharp. Arrows made from prey creatures? Hmm. They are fleet and fast. And those from hunters bite deep in their marks. Cheerful arrows for warning shots are best made from monkeys. The more dangerous the beast, the more deadly the result, you see. These are but a few of the ones that we know. The river droop? torpid bottom dweller that he is bristles with spines that are venomous and induce a, a a sleep that is plagued by nightmares the size of a large dog it is a lazy thing to uh, catch but it's tricky to handle and absolutely worthless to eat <laughs> ah. an arrow fashioned from its dense ribs and spines carry the weight of sluggish reapers and tortured sleep and it will easily dull a false senses hmm. wounds from the, the sench tiger arrows bleed foes dry they should be cut jagged and cruel like the claws of the beast they are swift and silent remembering the way to stalk through the undergrowth and pounce <laughs> ah it is always thirsty for the tang of warm blood. Bones from a cinch tiger that you did not kill do not speak with the same power, for respect must be earned. Old whispers say that arrows from the mighty swamp beast, the Wamasu, carry a jolt that rattles deep inside the bones. Pursuing this terror is a worthy task. It lurks deep in the mires of the Black Marsh and slaughters nearly all who stumble upon it. Hmm... Its bones shine black as night, touching them tingles, and the power will linger with you for years. These truths are often not written, like so much of people's knowledge, so treat it with honor. Know that every archer favors a different beast and forms a, fo a bond with it through the hunt. May we all find our own, and may all our shots strike true. Hmm... True enough, true enough. 
An interesting place this is. Plenty of flowers and such to harvest. Hmm. I'm unsure what to think of a place like this. Four Shields Tavern. I suppose we should have a stop off in the tavern, hmm? One, two, three, four. Goodbye, goodbye, see you again. Goodbye, goodbye, see you, my friends. 